Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to quickly talk about this website over here called ETH Gas Station. And basically, this website here allows you to see the real time recommended gas prices of Ethereum that you should use when sending off Ethereum. So I'll show you their calculator and also how the calculation is done. So right now I'm on their homepage and these are the recommended gas prices based off of how fast you would like these transactions. Now, if you don't like any of these fees over here, you can go over here to transaction calculator. If you click on that, it'll bring up this page that looks like this. Now, as an example, if we just click on submit, it'll give us all of the data that we need to better give us an idea of how quickly the transaction will confirm. So if we were to send Ethereum using 79 GUE, then this is how much it'll cost in Ethereum. And this is how much it'll be in fiat value. Now there's another box over here where you can type in your own fee and it'll do the calculations for you. So for example, if we do 50 and we click on submit, it'll refresh and it'll tell you how much in Ethereum that you would need to pay and in fiat value. Now for this part over here with the transaction fee, if you're not exactly sure of how this works, all that you need to do is take this number here, which is the GUE. So for example, if I put in 100, you'll see that it's this number here. Now all that this number is, it's this here multiplied by the gas used divided divided by 1 billion because there are a billion GUE in one Ethereum. So if I go to the calculator, I'm going to take 100, multiply this by this number over here, 21,000, 21, 1, 2, 3, and then it'll give me this number and I'm going to divide this by 1 billion. So divided by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you can see that is how they get this number over here. So one last thing that I want to mention is that this is just for sending Ethereum. Now, if you are deploying a smart contract, the fees incurred are much more expensive. So if you're using a service like Uniswap or Sushi, as an example, those are smart contract transactions. And the GUE or the Ethereum amount that you'll need to fork out for the transaction to be processed will be significantly higher. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do check and I do respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this, please share it with them. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.